Hi friends, welcome to week two of our March class and our Enchanted album. I hope you're all enjoying your cover and your page one and two. Today we are going to work on pages three, four, and five. So I'm going to go ahead and let you know what you will need for those three pages and then we'll get started. You will need your six by six paper pad, both sets of stamps, your layered dimensional stickers, your noteworthy, both cardstock stickers, True Love and Follow Your Heart, your combo sticker, the enchanted dots, the enchanted cutouts, your enchanted fairy tales, which will not look like this because we've cut out of it, and your 12 by 12 chipboard. So those are the items that we're going to use today. And instead of starting with page three, we're going to start with page four so that it can be drying. Then we'll go back to three. And then once it's dry, we can go to five. So stay with me. Don't be confused, confused that we're going to go four, three, five instead of three, four, five. All right, starting with page four, you're going to need the last page in your six by six album. It's this black one with the white flourishes all over it. And that piece is going to be three and five eighths by five inches. So it's the very last page in your six by six album, I mean six by six paper pad, and it is going to be three and five eighths by five inches. And we're going to put that guy tall and just put him so that he he goes almost to where he could be where he has to stop there without falling off the edges. And the next piece is going to be on the script paper and that paper is going to be two and a half by four and three quarters. Two and a half by four and three quarters. And it's going to go below the top and off of the side of that black one. And its corner is actually going to come off the page. So you can either leave that guy there, sand him off, cut him off, whatever you want to do. And then we're going to need our cute little Cliftoline paper, and it's going to be two by two inches. On the script, and this last one, you should be able to get that out of the scraps that we had left over from last week. And this guy is going to go right there. So it's like we have a little staircase there. So that's your first papers. Now you're going to need to get out your noteworthy and we're going to get this piece right here and we are going to cut him right down the middle because we're going to use him on two different pages. And it doesn't have to be straight because his the end will be hidden. So you can just cut it with scissors. It doesn't have to be straight at all. And we're going to put this guy right here. He's kind of bumped up against the script page. Alright, if you have your photo, you'll want to put it on next before we put on the other guys because the rest of the stuff is going, kind of going to layer over top of your photo. So, and my photo is three and a half by four and a half inches. I am going to stick that guy right there. If you remember when we were cutting out of the fairy tales paper for the cover, you cut out this piece and we cut off the top and the bottom and I told you to save that little circle because we were going to use it. This is the page we're going to use it on. So we're going to take that little circle that you cut out and he is going to go to the right of your photo and kind of border right against the page there. And then the next noteworthy that you need is this guy and he's the littler of the two cherubs and he's a little blacker than the first guy. But again, we're going to 
cut off this piece and then you have your low impact leaving it like it is high impact cutting right on your black edge or you can just do an average and just kind of cut off some of that white so you choose I chose to cut my guy high impact because you know it's therapy for me if you forgot so we'll need that piece and then from your layered stickers we're gonna need this guy from your chipboard you're gonna need a flourish and this little circle that has a little design on it. It's white with a little design on it. Those are the guys you're going to need. Okay, on the little cherub, once you've got him cut out, I'm going to pop him up. And he is just going to kind of go right on the photo with his wing coming out over that little circle. And then Below that, I'm going to put that little circle from the chipboard, and then I'm going to put my flourish from the chipboard as well, one of, one of those flourishes that are there. And then with this layered sticker, I'm actually just going to peel this top guy off and put him in here. So I didn't use that bottom piece. So I've just kind of got this little cluster collage going on right here. And then on our cardstock sticker, the true love, this one we're going to put on is united with a deep love or whichever one, you know, matches your photos. You can choose whichever one I'm going to use united with our deep love. And again, like Romy did on hers, I'm going to cut the little peak in there and then I'm going to roll it between my fingers so it kind of makes it look aged, aged a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of get that guy a little old looking so he matches more in here and then he's just going to go right along the top of the flourish okay so now we're going to stamp this guy we're going to just using this part again we're going to emboss on to two corners here and here and then we're going to do a little heart down in here now, I'm going to show you on Romy's book, where she just used the black and white, she did her embossed heart right there on the top, where I'm going to add color. I actually am going to emboss on my color. So if you're adding color to it and you wanted to do that, then you'll emboss on your colored paper. If not, just go ahead and emboss right on the, the album. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll move on. Alrighty, our embossing's done. We've got it here, here, and then our heart right here. And then also to complete that page, take your liquid pearls or your pearl pen or whatever it is you're using, and I've got pearls around here, pearls in the center of things that have a center, a um, little bit of glossy accents on our little flower here on these flowers that are actually on the page. There's some pearls up along there, pearls in this circle. And then I glittered the cherub's wings. So just glitter and pearl and glossy accent to your heart's content. And we will move on to page three, which is the backside of the one that we finished last week. So just make sure that you have your page right. And our first piece is going to be this big dot right here, and it is going to be six inches by four and a fourth. And that is going to go right centered and right against those, the binder ring holes. It's going to kind of fill up the whole page right there. And then the next piece you're going to want is going to be the newsprint out of your six by six pad. And I use the bottom with this little heart right there, or heart, rose. And it is going to be six inches by two and a fourth. And it's going to go right between those holes, clear over to the edge so that our rose is on that edge. 
and it should fit about right in between those two holes. And then our last piece is going to be that same dot, but we're going to use the other side, which is a smaller dot, and it is going to be one and a fourth by four inches. And that guy is going to hold off one second because we're going to add the other side of this noteworthy first. So this is the other side that we cut, and let's put him down before we put that small dot down. So he's going to go off of the newsprint but stay on the big dot. And then our small dot will actually go cover him and we'll go above our big dot there. And this right here is going to be covered up so don't worry about how that looks right there. Okay, so if you have your photo, I would add your photo next because everything else is going to kind of be on top of that. So, and this photo is vertical and it's three and a half by four and a half. And I'm going to put that right, kind of bordered that small dot and just go right to the bottom of the page. All right, with our Noteworthy, you have a little circle that has print on it. We're gonna put that guy right on the corner of our photo. And then out of the chipboard, there's just a single flower. And he is gonna go right on top, but to the side of that little circle. Just be sure that you have a place so that your binder ring can still go through. Don't cover up that hole with this guy. And then we're going to stamp the big cherub. And this is another one where you get to choose if you're gonna cut him out detailed or not. I kind of went with the medium here. I left a little bit of white. So stamp that guy and then cut him out. And I'm gonna pop him up. After you get him stamped, we're going to pop him up and then you're going to need another flourish out of your 12 by 12 chipboard and it looks just like the one we used on the page we just did. So he's going to go so that his head's just right even with this curve of that bracket. And then I'm going to take my Follow Your Heart cardstock sticker and I'm gonna use the sticker bracket that says beautiful. There's also one that says forever. There's one that's just ornate. So you could choose whichever one of those you like. I'm gonna do beautiful and let me get that second flourish off the 12 by 12 chipboard. And he's just gonna go right across the bottom here. And then my beautiful is gonna go on top of both of those and I just stuck him to the table. All right, after you get your beautiful off the table, we're gonna stick it right across the top of that flourish. And I'm actually gonna put one more foam square under there just because it's a sticker and I don't want it to, I don't want it to stick down like this. I want it to stay dimensional. So I'm just gonna put a foam square under there so that that stays popped up. All right, now it's time to stamp again. Let me show you where we're gonna stamp. So we're gonna use the, the hanging bows over here and then two hearts at the top and we're using the little heart with the two little curves underneath. Um, I don't know if you can see this guy like this. Let me, this guy right here and then these. So, the little guys, there's two of them, 
hanging strings, and then two of the little guys over here. And it looks like Romy tinted her rose right there red. That's really pretty if you have something that you could tint maybe a color to match. So we're going to go ahead and emboss those items and then go ahead and add your liquid pearls around this bracket, um, just little places on your cherub. You can make it look like it's um, holding down this nameplate, little liquid accents and pearls here, liquid accents and pearls here. So just go ahead and embellish that up with all your extra stuff and then we will move on to page five. All right, so there's that guy completed with all of the pearl and the embossing here. Um, I was just thinking if you guys use the Copic markers, how fun he would be to color in and even like to do your rows or to do things, that might be a fun way to add color to this album as well. So there's another option. But we will move on to page five. So just make sure that your all your stuff's dry and then we're gonna go ahead and start on this side. All right, the first thing you're gonna need are your the enchanted cutouts. And in the center of the page, there's this circle. Cut that guy out and we are gonna stick him so that he just kind of follows the pattern right there along that edge of the page. And then you're gonna want your the big dot paper again, the enchanted dots. And that piece is gonna be three and a half by five and a fourth. Three and a half by five and a fourth. And the rest are gonna be out of the brackets and stuff. So this one's gonna go right along the holes like our last one did, just kind of centered. Just right on top there like that. And then out of your fairy tales, there's a big brackety piece and you're just gonna cut out the top. It kind of looks like a crown. This goes the rest of the way around, but you're just gonna cut right up there like that. I'm gonna stick that guy right up here at the top. And don't worry about these words, we're gonna cover those with our photo. So there's that cute little cherub guy. And in the end, he's gonna leave room. You're gonna have clear room right here that you could journal on if you'd like to. All right, now you're going to want your photo if you have it. There's that part of that. And if you have your photo, that's gonna be the next piece we're gonna stick on because the rest of the stuff is kind of gonna go on top of him. We're going to tuck one little bracket under here, but you can just lift the edge as we do that. So this piece is just going to go so it covers up the words. That's about as far as you're going to go. And then come down as far as you can so that this doesn't go off of the page. So that's where that photo is going to go. Then you're going to want your combo sticker. And we are going to use this little guy right here that says together at last, but we're actually going to cover that part up. And then one of these little squares down here, and I'm going to use the little cherub. So this together at last is going to tuck right under our photo and just go down until that together at last is hidden. And then my little cherub will just, you can see he's kind of bordered right in there. Kind of just sits right there like a little tab coming up out of my photo. Okay, the next thing, and if you look down at the bottom of this blog post, you'll see a diagram that shows you how to cut it, because we're going to use this piece out of the Noteworthy, but Romy has cut this into three separate pieces and then layered it on the page, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So it's cut into three pieces, and they're layered on top of each other. And then we've got this chipboard flourish, which you will have to cut down. He's bigger than that and then the rings from the layered dimensionals. So we're gonna cut that guy up and then add those. And then up here you can see where our tab is and then we're gonna add another. 
Okay, now out of your Noteworthy, you're gonna get this cute flowery flourish. And Romy has cut this guy into three pieces and then layered them on top of each other. It's absolutely gorgeous. And if you look down below the video here, we'll post a diagram of where to cut. So let me show you how she did it. So here she's cut that piece into three and then layered them on top of each other and then added the pearls and the liquid accents and all of the stuff there. So we're gonna cut that, layer them, then there's this white flourish that you're gonna have to cut down out of the 12 by 12 chipboard because he's a little bit bigger than that. And then this is the layered dimensional and it's the two rings. And I love that it doesn't matter that this is a picture of a little girl. Like it's still absolutely adorable. And I just felt like Vanna right there when I did that. Anyway, this right here says always on my mind. So that's the one I'm actually gonna put that one on my photo too. Um, so let's go ahead and stick those on. All right, that's that 12 by 12 piece of chipboard and I just cut him off right there. So we're just gonna use this little piece. Um, first of all, we're gonna take these pieces that we've layered. So the first one you're gonna take is the long one and it is going to go along the bottom here. And let me show you that hers is in a little bit more. I think I'm gonna take mine out a little bit more. Mm, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna put it right here. So that piece is first, and then we've got the piece that has the three, the three guys on it. And it's gonna kind of just come up out of there. And then the other one that has the little loop-de-loo. And it is going to go right there. Now, I don't know if you can see that on there, but how they're layered on top of each other. And then with the glitter and the pearls, it just it looks absolutely gorgeous. All right, and then we're going to add our little flourish, kind of right on top of there and then our layered dimensional of the rings. So there we go, we just got that cute little cluster that kind of borders along the bottom there. And then the stamping on this one that we're gonna emboss is, there's a couple hearts right here and it's this cute heart that has a little bit of decoration in it. You could use either one of these hearts would be great for that part. So I'm gonna emboss him on and then I'm gonna add that little sticker that says you're always in my heart. Just right up here. And then go ahead and add all of your little pearls. She's got them all along the circle. She does so good at getting them kind of consistent and tiny. I don't do so well with that. She's got them down along here, and then glittered up the little cherub, glittered up the rings, added pearls and glitter to the rest of those guys there. So I'll let you play with that. All right, that's it for today's class. So let's look at what we've got so far. We've got our cover. And then page one, where we're going to write a little tribute or a note to whoever our album's about. And page two, and then what we did today, we've got page three, page four, and page five. So. Tune in next Monday, and we will work on 6, 7, and 8. Enjoy the week. See you guys next week. Bye.